Hello, it's Go Be Katie, and I'm going to, I was remembering, I've, I've remembered many, many times since I've been doing the work of Byron Katie, the last two stanzas of a poem by William Butler Yeats, and I actually don't remember the name of the poem, but I majored in English in college many, many years ago, 50 years ago. Oh God, so old. Um, <clears throat> I, I loved William Butler Yeats, and I wanted to go to Sligo. I wanted to go and recapture everything, every memory that I believed was really about me when he talked about his paramour, Maud Gone, because I was so over-identified, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is a beautiful poem. And the stanzas keep coming back to me and back to me as I've done the work of Byron Katie over the last 20, 18 years. And here's here are the two stanzas. And I just keep, they're just perfect. And boy, Yeats, he knew stuff, you know what I mean? He knew stuff. We know stuff because when we in, when we inquire into our thoughts, when we do self inquiry, we are just we're, well. There's nothing like it, and I think Yeats knew that. So here are the two stanzas. I am content to follow to its source every event in action and in thought. Measure the lot, forgive myself the lot. When such as I cast out remorse, so great a sweetness flows into the breast. We must dance and we must sing. We are blessed by everything. Everything we look upon is blessed. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? My, do I do. <laughs> this is a spiritual blab fest with Gopi Katie. Very happy today.